you don't want to watch the debates alone, you could come to the downtown YWCA. Here, numerous representatives of Dade County women's organizations and both political parties will be discussing these debates before them, during them, and after. And as sort of a bonus, Channel 4's Live Eye will have a report tonight at 11 o'clock. But most South Floridians who watch the historic debate will probably do so at home if they watch it all. In an unscientific random sample in downtown Miami this afternoon, just about everyone we spoke to said they plan on tuning in. Well, uh, it gives us a chance to know uh, what's, what's the other man going to do. Is he going to do a better job than the other? Do you think by watching the debates that that could influence your vote? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, I'll watch it, but uh, it's not as worthwhile as it could be. What could they do to make it better? I think they ought to be able to cross-examine or uh, question each other. Will your vote be influenced? No, I've already made up my mind. I think it's a good way to get voters' interest, yes. Mm -hmm. Will you be watching? Yes, sir, definitely. Do you think it's any good that they're having those debates? Yes, I think it'll be very informative, and I'll listen to the summaries of them, but I don't intend to watch them because I have other plans. Will it influence your vote? I think it will. Thank you. So you think it's a good idea to have these debates? Right. Is it going to influence your vote, or do you already? You apparently already know who you're going to vote for. For uh, Carter. Good. Okay. Right. I want neck bones to go down to a quarter a pound. <laughs> what? What? I want neck bones to go back down to five cents a pound. Do you think the debates are going to discuss neck bones tonight? Right. Okay. Mike Siemens, Channel 4 News. Jim, the group here at the Y watched the debates very patiently and very attentively despite the sound problem and despite the fact that there were no commercials. Among the group here tonight were many local political leaders and many plain just interested citizens just wanting to form an opinion about the debates. Among the group tonight are two very prominent Democratic and Republican leaders in Dade County, Mike Abrams, who is the Dade County chairman of the Democratic Party and Mike Thompson, who is the state committee man for the Republican Party. We're here with them right now, and what's your reaction to the b debate? Do you think that Governor Carter managed to clear up the problem he's been having with fuzziness on the issues? I think very clearly he did that. He offered con concise, compassionate programs that relate to inflation, reducing unemployment, and giving the American people an energy program, and closing the tax loopholes. I think he was very specific, very clear, and the American people are going to feel comfortable with his answers tonight. I take it you feel he won the debate. Absolutely. <laughs> what about you, Mike Thompson? Do you feel that Governor, uh, President Ford succeeded in presenting specific programs to the people? Well, I don't think he was really asked to present specific programs. I think he was asked to uh, defend his two-year record as president. In fact, I think if there was any imbalance at all in the program tonight, it was on uh, behalf of the interrogators. It was supposed to be on uh, the economy and domestic issues, and except for the issue of amnesty and the intelligence agencies, all the questions uh, dealt with the economy. Uh, and incidentally, none of the questions dealt with uh, Governor Carter's uh, stewardship uh, as governor of Georgia for four years. So I would hope that the subsequent debates would show better balance so that uh, we can have a little more light and perhaps a little less heat. Thank you very much. Of course, those are very partisan opinions, naturally, from these two gentlemen. And the real impact of the debates will come from the voters who have not yet made up their minds who to vote for. Reportedly, one in every five voters in this country has not yet made up their mind. With me are a couple of those voters who watched here tonight. Kay Marion, have, you, uh, have the debates convinced you to vote for either candidate? Not as yet. I think I'll make up my mind at the end of the debates. But I did feel that Governor Carter um, seemed to come over as having a definite interest for the average American, in my estimation. Thank you. Mr. Arnold Margulies, also an undecided voter, has tonight helped you make up your mind? Well, not quite, but I feel that uh, Governor Carter uh, presented uh, a point of view, uh, it showed that the present uh, administration pointed up what was wrong with the present administration. Also, I also found it rather significant, uh, I may be joking about it, but uh, when the cutoff time came, it sounded like there was another plumber's deal. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you very much. Possibly Governor Carter has picked up two votes here, but I think we'll have to wait until all the debates are over to find out. This is Daryl Pollock reporting live from the downtown YWCA. Both of the presidential candidates feel good about last night's debate. President Ford was in high spirits today, convinced he did a good job, and Jimmy Carter said he is looking forward to the next confrontation. The big question is, was the evening a draw? According to a local debate coach, it was. The only significance a debate would have, possibly, is to uh, attack that middle group of people, maybe 8 to 10 percent of the electorate, who really haven't made their minds up prior to uh, the debates. Uh, and that might be enough to swing the election. However, I doubt it. Who do you feel perhaps exhibited the most confidence or lack of it as far as the pure nature of a debate? So I would say that in terms of just pure debating style and confidence, Mr. Ford had it over for Mr. Carter. The head of a research corporation also gave Ford a slight edge. He seemed more relaxed, he seemed easier in his answers, and he seemed to be clearer in his enunciation. Erwin Premack says the voters are more undecided and apathetic than in any election we've ever conducted. I asked why the apathy is so widespread. I think up to now, neither of the candidates have developed a clear profile to the public consciousness. Well, many people feel that last night's uh, debate was a draw. Do you feel that any that something could have come out of that to change an undecided voter? I don't believe so. I believe what merely happened last night was a better um, conception of each of the candidates and what they stood for. But what about the upcoming debates? I think the upcoming debates will be listened to more carefully and watched more carefully. In a special random telephone poll conducted by Channel 4 today, we found that 82% of those who answered our questions watched the debate. Of that number, 74% said they were not influenced, meaning they had either made up their mind already or were not impressed with the debate. 11% said they were influenced by the debate, and 15% said they were unsure. The next debate will deal with a different topic, and both Stotsky and Premack feel the candidates will project differently with the pre prediction that Carter will improve his performance. Joan Hall, Channel 4 News.